So today we're talking about testing prophecy, but today we're emphasizing personal guidance. And I'm going to say some things that might surprise you. A few years ago, I met this girl, and uh, she was 19 and had been to university. Now, she'd gone to one church, and that church knew her full story. And then she went to another church and she persuaded them to put her on this year out of uh, theological training, serving the church, that kind of thing. And the story goes that she had spoken to God and God had spoken to her and the elders, the leaders of the church that she was in waved her through onto this training without going through the normal referencing and this kind of thing. And I didn't even check with our past church what had actually happened. So she told them she, you know, had had messages from God and that she was quite sure about it and that kind of thing. Now, at a dinner, what it transpired was this, that in the first church she'd been to, what had actually happened is she'd got really hacked off with a university degree course. She only had a year to go. And she decided that instead of doing that, she fancied doing this training. But I think they wouldn't let her. And she moved to this other church, and she said that God had spoken to her, as I've just told you. Now, here's the problem with what she said and about testing prophecy. Because what came out in the, the dinner that I was having with her there was this. She said that she'd asked God about it and said to him that if you don't stop me, that means you want me to go. I know, that's not really a good way to be hearing from God at all. Because basically what you're saying is, no prophecy is a prophecy. And basically what you're saying is, if God doesn't speak to you, that means God's speaking to you. Now, come on, we can do better than this. I think we can anyway. And it raises lots and lots of questions about personal guidance. And it's just one of many stories I hear of this kind of thing. Too many people do this. They say, if God doesn't speak to me, it means if God doesn't speak to me and stop me doing anything, that means he wants me to do it. And I'm afraid it's just baloney. It's entirely wrong. And anybody with an ounce of sense can see that. But look, we do things through all kinds of motivations. We always have mixed motives to do stuff. And bless her, she went on, she did the course. And, you know, I'm sure she did fine. I, I didn't hear what happened to her after that. But our lesson today is about personal guidance and testing prophecy. And the first thing that might be a surprise to you is that when God speaks to you directly about yourself that's not actually prophecy because prophecy is when God speaks to you and you speak that out for the benefit of the church either for somebody else or for the, the church as a whole so personal guidance has got to be kind of separated from this whole issue and I'm going to tell you how I go about it because it is so important and it's a question that most people have. How do I hear from God? Well, it's actually not that hard if you look in the right place. While we're here, I just wanted to say thanks for watching this video. And I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends maybe, and subscribe to the Ugly Fish channel and ding the bell to make sure that you get notifications of new videos about prophecy when I put them on YouTube. And there are four things that you can do. The first one is that if you're a Christian, remember that you have the mind of Christ. Second one is similar. You've got the Holy Spirit living in you. That's how you have the mind of Christ. And you're able to test God's perfect will through the renewing of your mind. As a Christian, you've had your mind renewed because of the Holy Spirit. Isn't that fantastic? Now, the third way I'm going to mention is actually the most important way of all. 
the way you primarily work out God's plan for your life and how you get guidance for your daily living is through reading the Bible. It's through Scripture. That's how you do it. And if you don't know Scripture, the Holy Spirit isn't going to be able to bring anything to mind, no matter how hard he tries. Okay, he can do a miracle, but it's not the usual way of doing things. Then the other way, the fourth way, if you like, of getting personal guidance is somebody does give you a prophetic word, and then you have to test that prophetic word. And I'll tell you how I go about this. So if I think that God is prompting me to do a particular thing, to, to whatever it happens to be, what I do is, first of all, I look in the scriptures to see what's going on. And then what I do is I ask some of my friends. And when I say friends, most of my friends are like leaders in churches. So I ask leaders in churches. And, as I said, search the scriptures. And then I put myself in a position to get prophetic words from people. So if I get prophetic words from people in church meetings, I go to the front. In prayer meetings, I go and make sure I get some people laying hands on me and prophesying to, them, to me. But I don't tell them, I don't tell them what, what I'm thinking about doing. I just say if God the Holy Spirit is going to speak through them. Then I put all those things together in a kind of a jigsaw puzzle kind of way and I see what God is saying to me and that's how I think you should get guidance. And then when you've done that you go and you talk to mature Christians and senior leaders in the church and you be open and honest about it. What you don't do is lie about your situation just to get what you want because that's manipulation that's really really a bad thing it's sinful actually so you shouldn't do that at all and you need to be careful when you're looking for guidance because you can end up in entirely the wrong situation I don't know about that girl but I think it was very very naughty to say the least what she did and I don't know, it may be that she's the next missionary to some major country and that she's gone on and done some fantastic things for the Lord. But it may be that God's plan for her, you know, was to be a fantastic doctor, to heal people, to be a lawyer, to help, I don't know, Christians get uh, help when they've been arrested for preaching on the streets, which is becoming quite common now, or some such thing. So we have to be careful about guidance but the lesson about testing prophecy is this God speaking to you personally about your own situation is not prophecy to start with and you need a lot more things before you should be thinking about doing anything in response to that get a few prophecies together get some scripture get some help from some mature Christians and see what God is saying Renew your mind. Prophecy is not like fast food. It's not a quick answer. It's not the, the, the mick prophecy that so many people seem to want these days. The answer to guidance is in studying the scriptures and knowing what's in there in order that the Holy Spirit can bring them to mind. Live a life of daily prayer and study the Word of God, then you'll have your mind renewed and you'll be able to test what His perfect will is for you and your life. And don't be saying, if God doesn't tell me something, that means He's telling me something. Because that's just silly. And if you do that, you actually deserve to be put on the naughty step.